right, this is gonna be a quick video. Um, I wanna to talk today about um, shooting down during auto trigger. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more talking than I am gonna be doing showing uh, in this video, but some people will complain of getting shoot down during auto trigger, meaning the, if you're shooting singularly, ball on ball, right? It, fine, and as soon as you start auto triggering, you start to see a decrease in feet per second. You watch the paint drop instead of flying as, as straight and as true as it was, which of course we know shouldn't happen because all auto cocker valve markers shoot flatter than say angels or mag valve markers. So what could be possibly going wrong here uh, in the marker that could be causing this? There are a couple of culprits, but there's one sneaky one that got me for a long time until I talked to Rod. Let's go over the most obvious ones. Input pressure into the marker. That's not what I would check first. Everybody assumes somehow, something's wrong with my rag. Something's wrong with my tank rag. You know what? Check that tank rag. Check that rag. That's why this matters. Check this here. Check it here. And if you know it's 300, 350 out, 450, this is what this is set up as. It's crossfire rag. Don't mess with it anymore. Don't turn it up and down and start thinking that you know, your gauge is broken or something weird like that. The most obvious thing to check is timing, okay? Now we go through this in the video, but what you want your markers timed at is one eighth inch firing point in auto trigger. You want it to fire, that's a little, that's about right. Yeah, in fact, that's perfect. You want that to fire at one eighth inch away from the body when you're pumping the marker forward in auto trigger. If it's firing here, you're letting less air out the bolt. Let me show you what I mean by that. That air passage, when the bolt is closed, which is right about here, that air passage is here and lines up with this air passage and fires the ball out. If you've got it firing early in the cycle, your air passage is back here. So this air is here, a little bit's getting into this hole, but much less than it was when it was closed. Check your timing first and see if that's what's going on if you get ball drop during auto trigger. If your pressure is good, if your timing is right, this is an odd one that took Rod and I a long time to figure out. Check the wear on your trigger. This is only gonna happen to you if you've had the gun for a long time or if you're meat fisted like I am. I mash the crap out of a trigger when I shoot the gun. I just do, especially an auto trigger. Don't ask me why, I'm ham handed. But this is a brand new trigger from CCM and you see how flat and smooth that surface is. This is the portion of the uh, marker that rides on the auto trigger cam as it turns right here, okay? Let me grab an auto trigger cam and show you what I mean. Here we go. This is how it rides. Here's its firing position. As it gets cocked back, it then needs to fire then again like that, okay? I hope you can see that. But notice, this is stainless steel and this is Delrin. This trigger is gonna get chewed up over time. Now, if you're light, light fingered, like other most people are, you probably shoot one of these in a lifetime and have no trouble. Look at this one. There's a divot in that thing. And what it was causing was, and look, it even got jacked up on the side of it here. Then you can tell this is an old CCM trigger because it has this old sealed ball bearing, not this little kind of metal, uh, um, almost bead. This one got chewed up over time. And look at that, it's even got rub on the sides and stuff. It was on my Series 6 for a couple of years when I was playing heavy tournament ball. Um, and it caused all sorts of, it would do it intermittently. It would drop shots intermittently in auto trigger and it, it would drove me nuts. Check that wear. When you take the, 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 the grip frame apart, check for wear. That's all I'm advising you to do. Replace as needed, these aren't expensive. These are a lot more expensive. They're machined out of uh, stainless steel. They made this to be a wear point and you can replace those at any time. So again, the three steps that I would take if you're getting shoot down during auto trigger is to check timing and to check air input pressure here. Those are gonna be your two main culprits, timing first, then air input pressure. Beyond that, check for uh, wear on the trigger. That's usually the three culprits that happen when you have shoot down during auto trigger. Thanks a lot.